cutie pies i am lanikia and you are watching what happened on the soaps this is the young and the restless edition all right guys let's go ahead and get into this um today is monday november the 13th 2023 on a scale of one to ten it was a solid episode i'm gonna give it a six um y'all tell me what you think in the comments uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel all right, we start off with Sharon and Nick. So Sharon is um, at the coffee house, you know, and she's on the phone just checking on, checking with Elena to see if, you know, she, any new news about Chance that he's still doing well. And so she's getting off the phone and Nick hears it and he's like, what's going on? And she said, Chance was shot. And he was like, oh my gosh, how is he? And she said, well, he's doing much better. He'll, you know, he's going to make a full recovery. And he's like, oh, that's that's good to hear. And then y'all, did y'all hear when Sharon was like, yeah, you haven't talked to Summer about it? He was like, no. And she was like, yes, yeah, Summer was there. And he said, well, I know um, Summer and Chance have gotten closer. I said, now, Sharon. <laughs> what you trying to do? What's Summer Daddy going to tell her? What you doing at the hospital? He can't tell this grown woman anything. Maybe that tickled me. That just tickled me. I had to throw that in there. But anyway, so he talks to her and he said, well, I got stuff going on of my own. And she's like, what's up? And he said, you know how I told you about my dad? Turns out I was right. He was lying. He was faking the whole thing, his whole illness and everything. And so, mama. He was faking his whole illness and everything. So, you know, he was trying to snake out who um, was going to betray him. And she said, let me guess. I already know who it was. He said, surprisingly, surprisingly, it wasn't the person that you're thinking. And she said, it wasn't Adam. If it wasn't Adam, then who? And he said, it was um, Nate. And she was like, Nate? And so he tells her the story. And she said, I no, Nate is a doctor, and he said, Sharon, he used to be a doctor. He is a businessman now, and he's ruthless at that. Hold on, y'all. Mila is really... He said he is a businessman now, and he's ruthless, so yeah, he tried to betray my dad and get him sent away so that he and Victoria can um run the company. And Sharon was just like we are, some of us in the comments, where we're just like, you know what? I'm sorry. I don't see where Nate did anything wrong. Um... Victor did lean on Nate like, oh my gosh, I'm having all these difficulties. So I still feel like Nate was really just trying to help. Um, and it made sense that Victoria would take over the company while Victor was getting the help that he, that everyone thought he needed. So I still don't see it as a betrayal, but Nick does because, you know, he said he did that just to grab power um, and everything. I said, all right. And Sharon said, well, I can see, um, you know, you feel strongly about it. So whatever. But Sharon didn't agree with that either. Um, so moving right along, they talk about um, what's going to happen now. Is and is Nick going back to the company? And the bottom of the line, yes, he is. He's going back to Newman. Sharon told him, Kristen is doing well and, you know, we're we're off to a good stop, start so even though she would like to have him she doesn't need him and he was like okay and she said plus i'm gonna always have your expertise whenever i need you and he was like of course um and so that's pretty much it with them y'all let's move on then we go over here to victor and adam so adam says i'm i came back so you can answer your question and he said what question was that he said you never told me what's my position now that nate is gone and, at, and Victor says he hasn't made up his mind yet because really he thought Adam was going to be the one to betray him. And Adam says, well, I'm glad that I wasn't. And Victor said, I'm glad you weren't either. And Adam says, but I want to be truthful to you. And I want to let you know that I was lying about why I came back to the company. Um, I didn't come back, you know, just to play nice. I came back to destroy the company from the inside out. He said, but then once I thought you were sick, everything kind of just changed for me and um you know so i mean it is what it is uh oh we already knew that uh oh let me go back y'all my bad he said everything just kind of changed for me and he didn't want to you know he he tried to protect him and victor's like yeah and i i appreciate you doing that um and he tells him so then um 
Adam says, so what does this mean? And he says, I, you know, Victor really doesn't know. I said, you did all this and you don't have a bottom line to it. You just assume Adam is going to betray you. And, you know, Adam says that Victor asked Adam, are you mad at me about what I did? And he said, no, I thought it was masterful. And he says, you have a mind just like your father. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Victor still will not let Adam be a part of the company. He said he doesn't want to work his way up. He's done too much work already in the company. He's ran the company. So why does he continue still have to work his way up? And Adam says, oh my gosh, no matter what I do, even though I was the one that tried to help you, no matter what, I'm always gonna, not going to be Victoria or uh, Nick. It, it, like I'm never going to be them. And so that's pretty much it. I said, baby, y'all had these same conversation. Like, y'all, y'all, it is so frustrating to watch this soap sometimes because it's it's literally the same storyline over and over and over again. When I started consistently watching this soap, um, maybe a year and a half ago, all I've seen is they need Adam for this. Adam helps out. Then, okay, but I really want victoria or nick to come back but i don't really know have a place for out like stop doing this to this man <laughs> i don't know but anyway so nick goes to tell uh victor that he's going to come back to the company and adam is there and he tells him he's already left for the day and so then they start talking and adam tells um nick you know I know you're happy that Nate's gone. He said, I am. And he said, so what did you want to talk to dad about? And he said, that's, uh-uh, that's, that's not syrup, ma'am. He said, that's my business or whatever. And I'll talk to him later about it. It has nothing to do with you. And Adam says, um, because Nick said, honestly, I thought it was going to be you who betrayed dad. And Adam says, no matter what I do, you know, I'm always the one. No, you know, no matter how many times I've come to the rescue and saved the day, I'm still always the one that can't be trusted. It's just expected of me to be up to no good. Where if you and Victoria do something, it's always an excuse for why you guys had to do it. But me, there's never an excuse. It's just, yep, that's just Adam. That's just Adam. And I don't know if he's sick over it or not, but he's going to get Sally. So go on about your business. Start a new business. Um, so then we go over here to Victoria and Nikki. And Victoria, I say, Victoria, please let me enjoy this soap without you over here whining about, Mother, I cannot believe you kept this from me. I'm very upset with you. I said, girl, you know how your daddy is. And why does kept you always going to take advantage of his illness <laughs> to get what you wanted? <laughs> and you're not going to tell me, excuse me, and you are not going to tell me different, sister. Uh, but anyway, she over here in Nikki's office. Nikki already told her, girl, I am tired. Um, and she just want to go home. She got other things to do. She don't have time for this. But Victoria wants to sit over here and whine. And I said, that's the problem now. Y'all let Victoria just, uh, just I, I can't believe out of all people, me and they said, it's not you, Victoria. It was Nate. And she says, I believe Nate when he said what he did, because Nikki's like, you can't possibly still trust him, right? And she said, I trust what he's saying or whatever. I said, baby, when y'all going to give Victoria some tough love? Now, I don't think Nate was doing anything wrong, but I'm just saying, when somebody going to give her tough love and say, well, you believed Ashlyn too? You believe all the, like, come on. Everybody always sugarcoats Victoria's love interests that were no good for her. Like, you can't run the company again. Like, if they honestly feel like that Nate was being, was being deceitful, how can you possibly put Victoria in control of the company again? Because she was the one that brought Nate in after she was the one who brought Ashlyn in. I, I'm just saying, what are we doing right now? What are we doing right now? Uh, that's all. That's all. Nothing else to say. Let's move on. Vic Nikki still, um, Victoria's still mad, and she was mad when Claire came in, um, but she went ahead and left so Claire could talk to Nikki. And then she meets Nate up. Uh, she meets Nick later on, and she all upset because Nate is not returning her calls or answering her text messages. He's he's leaving her on red. He's ghosting the girl. He already told Victoria he needed time to think about if he still wanted to be with her, but she's scared to give him that time because in that time frame he might decide he don't want to do this. So she keep bothering this man because she needs him to answer her phone call so that he don't forget about her. Don't forget about us. 
Oh, baby. Y'all remember Mariah Carey's song? Anyways, so she runs into Nick. Nick sees her and he grabs him a beer and he said, um, she asked him, is he coming back to the company and all that? Um, because, you know, she, he tells her he doesn't like Nate because he sees that she all upset about her phone. He said, girl, I don't even like Nate. I don't trust him or none of that. But if you like him, it, it is what it is. So she says, are you coming back to the company? Oh, um, you know, because he told her he was going over to see dad, but he ran into Adam. Um, and and then if, as far as is he coming back to the company, we going to see. But he is. He's, he already said he's coming back. But he's going to tell Victoria and all that. That's it with them, y'all. So then we go over here to little Miss Claire, little Miss Misery herself. <laughs> said, this going to be a good storyline. I'm here for it. So we go over here to uh, her and she lets Nikki know that her aunt has, um, she hurt her hip. She broke her hip. And she lives alone. So Nikki said, of course, you need to take a few days away. So then Claire starts saying, my aunt is really, she loves you. She's a huge fan of you, of yours. And, you know, it would mean, um, it, you know, she's a huge fan. And she tells me all the time how lucky I am to be able to work for you. And Nikki was like, oh, well, this is embarrassing for me. I'm flattered, girl. And so then Claire says, Nikki says, well, you know what? Oregon is on my way to where you live anyways, um, is on my way to where she's going. Because Nikki going to visit her sister, K Casey, I think they said. Anyway, she's going to visit her sister. So she said, why don't I drop you off? It's a surprise visit and all this. And so Claire was like, oh, and could you meet my aunt when you do that? And she said, yeah, I could go ahead and do it. But now I can't stay long. And she said, no, 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 of course not. Oh, my gosh, I'm so lucky to work for you. And then she leaves, right? And so then Nikki talks to Victor. And Vic, she's telling Victor everything that's going on. She, first of all, she tells him, Victoria mad at you. So don't expect her to talk yeah. to you for a few days. And he said, I'll deal with Victoria. It's going to be all right. And um, then she tells him, you know, about uh claire and her how her assistant is still working out and he said well that's good and so she lets him know that um she's going to be taking uh her on the private jet when they go on the trip and everything it's just, it's just like okay okay and they're just talking and she tells him that maybe she shouldn't take this trip because her uh, her uh sister doesn't know she's coming so maybe she shouldn't take the trip and she should just stay there because there's so much turmoil in the family and he tell her no baby what do you be calling her sweet baby or baby or something um you go on your trip and everything and she says okay and so then we see claire at the athletic club looking all sneaky and i say oh let the storyline begin i love a good mystery storyline and and a good kidnapping and all that that's gonna be good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be tuned in to Young and Restless all this week. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I made um pancakes for breakfast, and I let Mila uh mix the batter and stuff. She's gotten into playing with pots and pans right now, so she's worked her way into the kitchen. I'm watching her, but she's in the kitchen right now. Sorry for that extra noise. But anyways, um. I love a good kidnapping storyline. Like, give me this. Yes, I'm going to be tuned in all week. I will be doing reviews on this soap all week because, you know, sometimes I don't do them um, every single day. But I'll be doing them every single day because the storyline is about to go down this week, hopefully. But anyways, y'all tell me what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow for an all-new episode of What Happened on the Soaps, the Young and the Restless Edition. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.